Hello, my name is Derek J. Steele, and when I learned about this project, I thought of a few different ideas, and then realized that the World Cup of Soccer was going on. So I thought I would see what ad campaigns were being used to promote products. After searching various designs, I came across the McDonald's FIFA World Cup Russia 2018 vector-based ads, as seen here. I especially enjoy this ad campaign made by DPZNT because it implements design elements which are unique to Russia, soccer, and yet are still true to the McDonald's brand. While there are a few different ads in the same campaign, such as using ice cream cones to represent the cathedrals in St. Petersburg and Moscow, and making a hamburger symbolize the Matryoshka dolls, I especially enjoyed the fries performing a bicycle kick as they are falling into their container, as seen here. McDonald's has been known for its fries for some time, and so going with that theme seemed to be the logical choice. As you can see from this first slide, the Russia 2018 fonts are different. That is because the font used, Dusha, appears to have been made specifically for the FIFA World Cup Russia 2018 logo, and as such needs to be licensed to use. So I went with something that is close, as seen right here. Continuing on, we have the original ad, and more specifically, we start with the design elements used. As previously stated, this ad is vector-based which adds to the casual, easy-going feel of McDonald's. The fries and container are given three-dimensional properties by adding shading, here and here and here, which makes it pop out of the ad more readily. Adding the wood background texture, as seen here and throughout, gives it a unique, earthy feel common to Russia and perhaps street art. In the next slide, we see the different fonts used for typography. The McDonald's Golden Arches font has become iconic to the brand, and the FIFA World Cup font is more common, this little one right in here. The Russia 2018 font, this bigger one that says Russia 2018, as mentioned previously, is called Dusha and was specially made for this event. The font, with its unique stylization and being sans serif, adds to what one might think of when they read the Cyrillic alphabet, which is what the Russian language uses for its written type. Our next slide addresses color. As you can see, the stark contrast of the colors red and yellow, as seen throughout, are iconic with the McDonald's brand, as well as being reminiscent of Russia's heritage. For the new ad which I came up with, I added some fries falling in the introductory slide as seen here to give more of a less serious tone, such as is the case with the upbeat and casual dining experience of McDonald's. The color scheme, as shown here, that I chose was basically the same as the original ad, with the golden color being altered somewhat to make the keeper made of fries stand out against the golden arches goal. In addition, the colors of red and yellow are iconic for McDonald's. As for the overall design, I altered the FIFA World Cup Russia 2018 logo to have some black letters, as seen here, instead of all white to add to the contrast. I also added a custom background texture, as seen throughout here and here and over here, by photographing a wood slat in the backyard. This last slide shows the typical brand logo for McDonald's restaurants. You can see the contrast between the yellow or gold, since they are golden arches, and the red in the background. While this advertisement might not be used for an upcoming FIFA World Cup, it remains true to the concepts of design which the original ad implemented. Concepts of slightly altering the color scheme, contrast, size and scale, and using vector-only images complement each other and, when combined, make both the product, company, and event stand out amongst the competition. McDonald's Restaurants, FIFA World Cup 2018, 
and Russia won't soon be forgotten with high-quality advertisements such as those made by DPZ&T. Thanks for watching, and if you are hungry, may I suggest some fries from your local McDonald's?